Now we have to discuss the vaginal wall. This basically consists of uh, three coats. The from inside this uh, layer is called as mucosa which is thrown into various folds transversely lying folds or rugi having uh, what inside you can see these this is the epithelium and below it has got the lamina propria here uh, next uh, in the uh, in this picture you can see this next layer comes which is called as muscularis usually we mention the layers that mucosa is there then we say that submucosa but uh, the thing should be kept in mind that here in the vaginal wall only the mucosa is there and uh, then comes here the muscularis layer and on its very outer side which is not uh, shown here is the adventitia on its outer side. So let's first discuss its mucosa. The very important thing is that its epithelium which you can find it as stratified squamous but non-keratinized it is a very thickened one uh, it is about 150 to 200 micrometer in its thickness under the influence of estrogen what they are gonna do they are to produce the glycogen granules so the glycogen basically is metabolized to lactic acid by the healthy normal bacterial flora lying over there that converts it uh, by doing this they lower the pH of this area to prevent the invasion of various pathogenic bacteria and the fungus over there next to it you can see uh, the lamina propria now you can see the lamina propria is going inside like a papillary projection this is uh, basically you have already learned when uh, you have learned the stratified squamous epithelium in first year as well this uh, lamina propria is made up of loose connective tissue well laden with the elastic fibers and if you talk about the cells present over there they are neutrophils lymphocytes as a large number and uh, neurovascular bundle could be there next to it if you come here you can see the interwoven uh, layer which is smooth muscle arrangement smooth muscles are in uh, type to intermingling fiber they have said uh, like that the inner layer is composed up of uh, the uh, this uh, longitudinally running muscle fibers and the outer uh, one is uh, sorry the inner one is circularly arranged uh, and outer one is longitudinally arranged but they are spirally and interwoven intermingling so we hardly differentiate among the layers you can just find them as a collection of bundle hair uh, then if uh, there is adventitia you can see yeah, which is not shown here but if it is there it is made up of dense connective tissue layer rich in elastic fibers again well marked with the uh, venous plexus and bundle of sensory nerve endings could be there uh, the uh, in the this uh, uh, tissue there is no gland so that is uh, all about this uh, uh, vaginal uh, wall you have to learn about it